and welcome to yet another interesting episode of Afia Attends. And we are at Nkata Umwibe, the June 2022 edition. Nkata Umwibe is a monthly program organized by the Center for Memories in collaboration with the Inugu Sports Club. It serves as a platform for dialogue, stimulation of thought leadership, value reorientation, and intergenerational transfer of knowledge for the Igbo people. The theme of today's event is Igwe BK unlocking our productive potential. Let's have a brief chat with our guest speaker before we go in for the show. Our guest speaker is the Executive Director of Spaces for Change, Mrs. Victoria Ibezim O'Hari. Let's meet her. Um, when we say Igwe BK, we are talking about just numbers of people in general, not men, not women, not young people, not generality of the populace. And that Igwe BK is a plural word. It means inclusion, actually. Inclusion of all sexes, all kind, all persons, all classes of people in in the development of Igbo land as a whole. So my lecture today will be looking at in that inclusiveness of Igbo culture. Are there people that are left behind? Who are the people that are left behind? What are the barriers? Why are those people left behind? What can be done individually and collectively? to make sure that no one is really Yeah, I have quite simple expectations. I want to learn more about the concept of Igwe BK itself um, and how that translates to the organization of the Igbo people um, as a society and as an ethnic group. I expect to get um, a direction, how to build unity and how to unlock the potentials within. Like the topic of today says Igwe BK. So the more unified we are, the greater we move. Afia TV will be bringing you live updates as the show progresses. Let's go in. It's my pleasure to be talking about a subject that is very dear to my heart. And as a researcher, I like to interrogate things. Um, researchers are defiant people. They like to ask questions. They like, it's a so as I'm also here to do a bit of my research work, which is to interrogate the aspects of Igbo culture that encapsulates not that meaning, Igwebuike. Igwebuike, it means a lot of things to many people, but it simply means there is strength in numbers. You know, and when we talk about Igwe Madu, Igwe Madu is a plural word in Igbo, right? So when you talk about I Agaramahata, Igwe Madu Chukutara Nahe, Igwe Madu means Umu Woke, Nonahe, Umu Wai, Nonahe, Ndo Kenya, Nonahe, Umu Aka, Nonahe, and that will be my closing line for all of us in the need to go back and say, I will make change. I will. The change begins with me. And if we do this, Igwe Madu's potential in Igbo land will witness maximum and significant changes. Thank you very much. So I want to use this medium to tell you that most of those women that are making investment in Lagos, bring them to Enugu. In Enugu here, a woman has the full right to own properties, you know? She has a right to build houses and own it all by herself. It's not equitable, it is not justice, and I don't see any value in it. If anything, you are actually making that little girl feel subhuman. In the concept of human productivity, it has become clear that our culture is not giving us an equal playing field. It's because that equal playing field is not there. That is why that conversation keeps coming back. Well, like whenever I hear about Iwabike, I think about um, democracy in Igbo land, and somehow I expected to hear more about that. I was really excited that, you know, 
when she explained that Igwe Buike entailed everyone, regardless of age, regardless of gender, it showed us that inclusion is actually important if we really want productivity in Alibo. You know, everybody has every right, you know, to own property, to be productive, irrespective of your gender, irrespective of, you know. And it's a wrap. Until our next event together, keep watching Afia Attends on Afia TV. I am Natalie Uku. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,